Hey everybody, it's Eric, aka LearnMax, aka Eraser Mice, and I'm here to share with you two new devices that I'm going to offer for a limited time or for some time uh, for free uh, as a way of kind of easing everybody's learning curve with regards to my new idea tools or the conductibles or the uh, Eraser Mice idea tools. Yeah, so. Um, the idea behind the tools is that you create these sort of uh, interactive, uh, manipulatable uh, sets of presets or tone generators or MIDI generators, all these kind of things. And uh, let me just show you. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I am using the Angry When Sober E flat minor uh, construction kit from Samplification. You can get this from, uh, you know, just when you get uh, Live 9, I think it's one of the sample sets. I'm just, you know, grabbing it just to show you something really simple. Uh, and when you get the Dynamic Duo, is the one I'm calling this kit, uh, it's basically two devices. And just to, to let you know, the full Idea Tools has like 19 devices in it. So this is just the tip of the iceberg, but it'll give you, it'll illustrate what's going on. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a basic MIDI conductor. And this is the guy that really runs the show, the MIDI conductor or the master conductor or the MC is what we like to call them. Okay, so MC is a little graph, a little uh, grid here, and you can move up and down and side to side, and you get little uh, uh, numericals over here so that you can MIDI map these. You can MIDI map them to controls or a touchpad or something like that. Um, and you set the ID. Well, right now, leave the ID at one. Number of nodes will leave at six. Uh, you can adjust the size of the nodes. Adjust them like that a little bit. You can also randomly generate nodes, all that kind of stuff, but anyway. Uh, by itself, it doesn't really do much of anything. Uh, it just sends out uh, conducting variables or conducting uh, parameters. It doesn't really do anything on its own. What you need to do is you need to have some conductible stuff, uh, conductible other conductible devices to really do stuff with it. So, okay, we've got another track here, um, a nice uh, little drum kit thing. Okay, and we're gonna make uh, some of those parameters parameters, parameters, what am I saying? Parameters, conductible. Okay, so I'm going to take the API MIDI neighbor device, and with the API MIDI neighbor devices, you can put it on any MIDI track, and uh, the neighbor conductor, what it does, basically you put it next to a device, and you say, okay, find neighbor, it looks to the right, it says, okay, grab that device, and then any parameters that that uh, device uh, advertises, they become selectable in here. So I'm going to say pitch. Okay. Now, in the conductibles, you typically have six or seven, or maybe eight if you count this bottom one, uh, six or seven uh, preset variables that you can use. And you see here, they just defaulted to 30, 40, you know, these values here. And you see, as I click on them, they're changing whatever they're assigned to. So in this case, it's pitch. Now, if I, the, the, the extra one here, the one without a number, if I select that and I give it a range, that becomes conductibly uh, conductible over a continuous range. So let's uh, turn that off for now. So I get these six variations here, and you'll notice here I have some choices. I have plus x, minus x, plus y, minus y, n for nodes or off. So we'll leave that to plus x for now. Listen to all, and okay. Now what do we do with it? All right, we come back over here. Let's grab our MIDI conductor. And we'll open it up in a window, okay? And let's move this around. You see that they will uh, synchronize to one another. And now as I move in this one, uh, you'll see these variables, they're changing there. And if I come over here, you will see that the as I move from left to right, which is positive x direction, I go from 1 to 6, thing like that. OK, now if I was doing continuous and I move from there to there, it moves across the whole range from 0 to 1, 99. That's, I got it pretty close. Uh, you can set smaller ranges as well. So you want to just do that variable all the way down, all the way up, but it's just within that range. So what's happening? You notice the pitch is changing over here to one of these preset values. Let's play the track, see what happens. Oh, come on. There we go. Basically, it's sort of like having a chaos oscillator um, 
uh, for any particular parameter you wanted to uh, use here. Now, this is the, one of the assignable ones, the simple neighbor conductor. Um, there are lots and lots more variations on this, uh, much more flexible API conductors and, uh, let's see, clip length and triggers and all these kind of stuff. But for now, these are the ones you can get for free. So you can imagine uh, the ones that you actually pay a couple bucks for. Um, they're pretty good. Uh, so anyway, all right, so let's uh, get even more interesting. I'm going to grab another one of these. Uh, now, you got to remember when you drop an, a neighbor conductor on here, it always it can only look at the track to its right, or excuse me, the track or device, device on the track to its right. And I say find neighbor, still finds electrify. And I will now say punch. And I'll put punch on the Y value. Okay. So now you're seeing, right? Pitch is on the X and punch is on the Y. We hit play. Pretty cool, right? Okay. Now, the other cool thing about this is that you can put these things on other tracks as well. So let's grab a neighbor and throw it on our base hop full fall, excuse me. And we're going to assign this one to nodes. Okay, so as I move from between the nodes, you'll see I'm on node six, I'm on node two, I'm on node five, right? So you can set up sort of patterns and uh, you know, places on here that uh, it's not going to bump into, it's not going to trigger. And as that's happening, the other one is also changing. Okay, so you have this way of changing like all sorts of parameters at the same time. So it's a really fun way to uh, generate ideas. You know, that's all it's all about. Now, of course, as you're generating ideas, you might want to save some of them. So if you are over here in uh, arrangement view, you can always record. Okay, so everything I just did uh, will be, it's all automation, so I can stop, play from the beginning, and there it is, it's still there. Now, one thing you should have noticed, um, these values here, you can set them all to be whatever you want them to, and even change them after the fact, um, which can be kind of crazy. It's best to set them up beforehand, but... Okay, so I think you get the idea. So come to uh, www.erasermice.com, or you can get me on Gumroad or Fetch App, or come to the Facebook page, uh, all sorts of ways. Check the link below the video. And you can pick this up for free, or if you want to donate a couple of bucks, or you're feeling brave and you want to pen it, spend a couple bucks more and get the whole uh, volume one of my idea tools, or any of the additional tools I have there, uh, really appreciate it. Um, so hopefully give it a try. I think you'll be hooked. Uh, so far, the people who have tried it, have, feedback's been great. And I look forward to welcoming you to the, uh, the Eraser Mice community. Okay, till next time. This is Eric. Have a great time.